In 1971, five children got the tour of a lifetime at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Today on the OK Connection, we're cashing in our golden tickets to get a tour of one of Tulsa's chocolate factories. As you might expect, Tulsa's Brady Arts District is known for art. And while some people may not think chocolate fits that mold, one step inside Glacier Confection will change your perspective. Yeah, it's definitely an art form. I mean, if you look at what we do with color, shape, style, texture, mouthfeel, uh, every piece, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a work of art. Bill Copeland is the owner of Glacier Confection, and he's spent years learning how chocolate is made throughout the world. So I spent 10 years plus learning as much as I possibly could about it, the science, the, the process, the, the retail, the art, artistry of it. And then I decided to take some formal programs and education. So I, uh, I studied in uh, Ecole, which is a British Columbia uh, company. I graduated from there with my basic professional chocolate tier certification. And then from there, uh, I, I studied at, uh, in, in Belgium for the Belgian style of making chocolate and a master program there. And then I also went to Hermitage, France and studied there for the French way of making chocolate. Everyone makes chocolate different. Right. So my next conquering uh, mountain is going to be the Italians. So I'll be heading to Italy uh, soon to, to learn how the Italians do it. He's taken what he has learned so far and put it into his shop. But it all starts at his factory, where he and his team meticulously craft each piece of chocolate. It's a, min a minimum of three days to produce a piece. Uh, there may be you know, as many as 10 steps to that one piece. While we were there, Bill and his team walked us through that process. And it all starts with a paint job. So what you're gonna see, she's preheating the guns. And that has to be at a very exact temperature to okay. get that sheen you see, that nice shine, can't just be put on. Sure. She's actually done it enough times that she can tell by feel, flow, that she's at the right temperature. I usually do this for like five hours straight. So that's what she's, she's gonna prep the cavity where she hits it with paint. She should call it paint. Cocoa butter, she's gonna hit it with cocoa butter. So this would be a, a, a product that's painted already. So that's prior to us putting the center in. Then we'll pipe the center in, and then we'll close it. Once they're filled and ready, it's time for them to be capped. That holds about 350 pounds of chocolate that we keep at a very specific temperature. And that's how we'll make those shells. We'll flood it. We'll scrape it. And then we'll close it. Then the chocolates are taken to be chilled, which would normally be the final process. But the day we visited, they were getting ready for Valentine's Day. And for a few select pieces... So what we're going to do now is demold. So we're actually going to take the lips out. So we're going to flip it. They had some special decorations. Pure silver. 99.9% And while the process is tedious to make these chocolates and the team gets satisfaction from seeing their customers enjoy them, Glacier has an even bigger mission. Pretty much started it to make a difference in people's lives, introduce them to European style artisanal chocolate, and also to give back uh, with uh, veterans. We support the VA Coming Home program, the Folds of Honor Foundation, Patriot uh, Golf Day, and what we're doing now is looking at doing a retraining program for veterans who want to get basically develop careers in confection. Because it's a, it's a, if there's a stress-free environment, chocolate's probably it. So you'd be happy coming in, happy going out. And so that's real important for a vet who's been in very intense uh, situations, you know, with a lot of stress. And so to put them into an environment where they can have fun and not have to deal with that is important. And soon, with their new store opening downtown, they'll be able to give back even more. Yeah, that's going to be great. Uh, we're really excited about it because it's, it's the first bean-to-bar 
production factory in Oklahoma. And we wanted to, to bring that here because now we can go right from the cacao pot on the tree to finish chocolate liquor. So we'll be roasting, we'll be winnowing and cracking, pre-refining, conching, and actually making our own chocolate mass from scratch from exotic beans around the world and delivering that to the chocolate truffles and bars and all the other fancy confections we're making. But we'll control the entire process, basically from tree to mouth. And with these new opportunities and a mission to give back, you could say Glacier's future is looking pretty rich. Check out this shot. Right away you see Captain America. A few steps later is Supergirl likely talking to her cousin Superman. Then just to the left of that is Batman carrying Drunk Robin. See?